Hello everyone, um, we feel a great honor to receive this prize from our world, world level deep sign language recognition from videos, a large scale data set, and mental operations. This is a joint work with Don Chu, myself, Christian, Chin, and Hondo from the Australian National University and the Australian Centre for Robotic Vision. There are more than 450 million deaf people around the world. Due to the communication of struggles, they face great difficulties when interacting with the hearing people, developing their own careers and even their daily life. They need a translator to communicate with hearing people that don't know sign language, as you can see in the picture at the left. In this work, we aim at teaching machines to understand sign language while taking advantage of receptively developed vision techniques to improve the communication between deaf and hearing people. We also see sign language understanding as a good testbed for a wider range of applications in computer science, such as human-computer interactions and robotics. In this paper, we focus on the problem of world-level sign language recognition tasks where we have a video as an input with a person performing a single sign work. The model is then asked to predict what is the sign performed by the video. In the video. This is a fundamental task for sign language understanding and applications such as sign to spoken language translation. We identify that there is a lack of large scale public data set on this problem. Existing data sets are usually constructed with small vocabularies in controlled environments, which greatly constrain applicable scenarios and also leads to poor generalization abilities of the models. In this plot, y axis is the number of work and x axis is the number of video. And you can see our, our data set as a red star. Moreover, these results are rarely publicly available. So our contributions to this end, we introduce a new large-scale data set named World Level American Sign Language. Taking advantage of the, this large-scale data set, we are able to experiment with two typical gesture recognition approaches based on visual appearance and 2D human poses. Additionally, we propose a novel temporal graph convolution network that uses 2D human poses, achieving the best post based recognition performance. Our proposed dataset is publicly available with more than 21,000 videos. It covered 2,000 words with different dialects and 119 signs. With this effort, we are in the hope of facilitating the sign language understanding research. We recently developed techniques in computer vision. Here you can see some samples of, of our videos in the last <clears throat> This task brings also unique and interesting challenge for gesture recognition. Firstly, different natural language words can be performed with similar signs. This brings a lot of ambiguity for recognition algorithms. Here we can see from the sample that the sign for words hungry and wish are quite similar, which challenge algorithms on understanding fine grained gestures. That is in the uh, left video. In the middle, people from different geographical regions may perform the same work differently, even all in the same American Sign Language. This phenomena is referred as sign language dialect. In our dataset, we provide objections for different dialects, as shown here. Our dataset collects samples of three different signs, dialects, for the word computer. Finally, in the, at the right, there exists variation in pace, gesture, or stretching when different signs perform the same sign. We evaluate recognition performance with two typical approaches based on visual appearance on the left and to the human poses on the right. For appearance-based approach, we choose VDDRU as a representative for 2D compression network networks plus recurrent neural networks. 
and I2D for 3D composition networks. We intend to analyze to what extent human body gestures itself can be used for sign language recognition. In this setting, we use GRU and also our proposed pulse temporal graph convolution network. Our pulse temporal graph convolution network model is inspired by human pulse anticipation, anticipation research. As input, we concatenate key points of N frames as a K by 2N matrix. A graph convolution network layer then captures the spatial temporal information using a test matrix A and a trainable weights W. A post graphical convolution network is constructed by studying multiple layers with which receiver connects. Finally, a max collision operation or temporal dimension is applied to acquire the post feature. In our experiment, we evaluate on different subsets of our dataset, taking 100, 300, 1000, and 2000 words as a subset. The I3D model achieved best performance with top 10 accuracy, reaching 66 on the 2000 words subset. Our proposed post graphical convolution network consistently performed better than the DRU and achieved 62 top 10 in the same setting of 2000 words. This reduced the talents of our dataset. Sign word recognizer can also serve as a foundation for further sign language applications. Here we demonstrate the effectiveness of our word recognizer by applying it on the task of sign keyword spotting. In this task, a model is asked to localize temporarily sign words from continuous samples. In this way, we can automatically extract more word samples to increase the performance of word recognizers and help translation. To this end, we apply our word level recognizer in an exhaustive sliding beetle fashion on the input sign sentence field. Here we provide examples of our localization results. On the left is a demonstration of the word level sign video from our dataset. In this example, it shown the sign for good. In the middle, we have a video of a sentence in sign language which translates to he was best known for his published Books. On the right, we show the localization results for the word books in the video. The localized segment is highlighted with a red bounding box. Here we show another example of the localization results of the word computer. The sentence consists in the word is the, that is called computer tampering and that is a fellow. Localization results is shown on the right. In our follow-up work, we show that it is helpful to transfer the knowledge in these automatically extracted word samples to, in order to further improve the word level sign recognition performance. For future work, we plan to explore sentence level sign language understanding such as continuous sign language recognition and translation Please keep tuned on our follow-up works. Here you can find some reference. And our dataset is available now. If you want to download it, you use, uh, uh, just search for WLASL dataset or use this uh, uh, scan QR code. Thank you.